Today, I'm going to be erasing Jamar Chase's stats all the way down to a zero overall. And for every touchdown he scores, it's 100 points to spend on upgrades. And the goal is to get him all the way up to a 99 overall. So, as you guys can see, to start things off, my boy Jamar Chase is a 12 overall, as you guys already know. We can't actually go all the way down to zero, so that is the best you're getting. But anyways, I mean, this challenge is going to be an absolute pain today because, I mean, Jamar Chase is obviously the best wide receiver on this team, but I'm pretty safe to say that Mr. Always Open is going to turn into Mr. Always Locked Up today. But as you can see, we have a pretty tough matchup against the Browns in week one. Considering Chase is going to be terrible, Boyd and Higgins are going to have to step up today. But anyways, I mean, I guess it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to see how bad Jamar Chase truly is. I mean, I'm not really expecting him to... Oh, hold on. He's actually wide open, but... Oh, he caught it okay we lost a yard never mind i forgot we got struck with a penalty before that so we got like four yards off that play which is actually the best start anyone has ever had to one of these videos i know he's gonna crumble at some point that is not gonna work oh i shouldn't have thrown that 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 was a bad decision can we even catch this guy that's gonna be a pick six okay i mean that is not the best way to start the game off that was a terrible decision i don't know why i tried to go to chase again i mean on the bright side he's not bad at getting separation even though he's He's a zero overall right now. So, I mean, at the one yard line, he might be good to get some touchdowns today. But I'm just going to try and use my other weapons until we get the ball to, like, the five yard line or something like that. For some reason, even though, like, when I do these videos, everyone's the same amount of overall, I feel like some players are still a little bit better than others for whatever reason. I'm going to try and go for a big play with T. Higgins here, though. I mean, if this works out, we are going to be set up perfectly. We do have to watch out for Miles Garrett, though. I mean, he's wide open. And that's going to work out. Okay. Okay, we are set up now. So, I mean, 11 yards to go, and we're actually in the end zone. I just got to make sure I don't try and do anything too early here. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we're not going to get a first down. Okay, that's going to make the... Oh, we did get the first. Okay. It is not easy trying to get a first down and not a touchdown when your first down's at the one-yard line, but we made it happen. So, now we have three attempts to try and hit Jamar Chase here. That's that's not good okay i accidentally hit the wrong button i mean at least we're gonna tie the game up but that is not what i wanted to do part that sucks even more is chase was actually wide open so that probably would have worked out for some reason i thought he was b but as you can see we're down by two points in the second quarter now i'm gonna try and go back to this play of higgins and hopefully it works again i mean this time oh he's open too he is open too i thought that would get locked down but it's gonna work again i mean all i gotta do this time is make sure i actually hit jamar chase instead of hitting the wrong but i've i've I hit the wrong button two plays in a row i'm gonna be extremely butthurt give me that okay we're set up now i'm gonna try this stick play again too because last time i ran it he was wide open i just gotta make sure i actually hit chase this time that's not gonna work is it okay third down i mean i'm not gonna lie man this is a much bigger pain than it looks like because every time i give the ball to him he drops it if he gets hit like if someone puts a finger on him or anything and that's another pick oh my god we are off to one hell of a start right now now, aren't we anyways we're back out here in the third quarter as you can see i mean i'd say our chances of winning are pretty much out the window at this point i'm gonna try this play of t higgins again though because it seems like it works basically every time once again he's wide open so we're set up perfectly again though this is where the real challenge begins because it seems like jamar chase is not able to get any separation whatsoever and it, it, as i said as soon as someone touches him whatsoever he drops the ball this time he was wide open though so that's finally gonna be a touchdown for him so i mean I guess we can celebrate a little bit. We we got a touchdown, but there's no chance in hell that we are actually going to win this game. I mean, as you can see, we came really close to tying things up, but the Browns are going to get us by eight points. I feel like if Jamar Chase was actually good, we probably could have won that game, but since he's not, we're going to be taking an L. And since Chase only got one touchdown, there's not a whole lot we can actually do to him right now. So, I mean, I'd say the most important thing is catching traffic. That was a huge problem. So, we're we're gonna max that out i mean obviously he's still gonna be a 12 overall after that that upgrade's gonna do pretty much nothing but hopefully we can notice a little bit of a difference but obviously things are not getting any easier for us in week two because now we have to play the ravens i mean again this is a game i'm really not expecting to win but as long as we can get some upgrades for jamar chase
price, this game will be worth it. I mean, the Ravens are already tearing up this defense. So we're already down 7 nothing. But so far, Mixon has been playing pretty well. So I'm just going to keep handing it off to him. And hopefully, we can keep getting yardage. I mean, that's another decent pickup. I'm going to try and put an air after that, though. I mean, Jamar Chase is the main target here. So obviously, that's not going to work. So I'll probably just try and go for Smith Jr. here. And he is going to be wide open. That is a lot more yardage than I thought he would have got. So that is actually going to help out our case quite a bit here. I'm going to go back in the air, though. I mean, as long as my O-line gives me some blocks, I'm thinking that Higgins can be open. Yes, sir. That's another one. Let's go. Okay, we're kind of rolling right now. I mean, I'd say if we can get one more decent pickup, we should be good to try and go for Jamar Chase. But the thing is, I mean, a lot of these big plays are to Jamar Chase. And since he has no speed, they will not work. So I kind of just got to rely on everyone else until we get the ball to like the four yard line or something like that. I'm going to try and go back to Higgins here. That's going to be good. Okay, that's another one. And I'd say we're in pretty good position right there. So as long as Chase can get open here, I'm hoping we can get another touchdown with him. I mean, last time this was just a giant waste. Last We only got one upgrade last game. I'd like more than that. This time he held on to it through to contact. Okay, so it's looking like that catch in traffic is already paying off. I feel like I can actually rely on him as long as we only need like three yards. We're probably good. So that's a touchdown for Chase. And as you can see, we did manage to get the ball back back after that so our defense is actually playing pretty well today we're still tied up at seven we also have like three minutes before halftime so i mean if we can score here i'm hoping that we can go into the half with the lead but i mean yeah, and that's kind of hard to ask for. If there's any time on the clock, Lamar's probably going to score, especially the way our defense has been playing. I mean, today they haven't been bad, but up until now, they've been pretty terrible. I feel like I probably went out too early there. I'm just going to try and get like three yards on the run with Mixon, and then hopefully we don't sneak into the end zone on accident. I mean, get me down. Get me down. Okay, we're set up. On the downside, it is third down, but since Chase has catch in traffic, I mean, if he gets hit, he can actually hold on to the ball now, and it looks like we're going to get it again. So that's that's going to be his second touchdown of the first half, which is already a massive improvement from the last game. And that's going to give us the lead here. And after that, we actually got the ball back again here. So if we can score again before halftime, which is a bit of a stretch, but I mean, we do still have like a whole minute to work with and we have all of our timeouts. But if we score here, we're going to have a two score lead going into halftime, which would be really good for us right now. I'm going to try and go for Higgins here, who is wide open. And we're going to bring the ball all the way to the five yard line. Call a timeout after that too because like i don't trust jamar chase with five yards just yet i'm gonna try and get it to like the two or something here and that's gonna work out okay get me down let's go i mean we're out of timeouts now so if we get sacked we're kind of screwed but if we can find chase again as i said we're gonna have a two score lead and that's gonna be his third touchdown of the first half so he's actually having a monster game right now and that's gonna give us a two score lead so i mean we're actually looking pretty good right now which i didn't expect seems like our defense is is actually going off today though because again Lamar fumbled the ball so we have the ball at the 47 here which is pretty good field position and we're up 28 to 14 they did score but it looks like we did as well so we're still up by two and we're set up perfectly for Jamar Chase once again so if he can actually get open this time that is going to be his fourth touchdown of the game and as far as upgrades go that will take him a long way he is wide open too so that's going to be four touchdowns on the game for Chase and that's going to put us up by three scores so I'd say that that should put the game away at this point and it looks like we're going to so we're gonna get the win against the Ravens I mean I thought things were gonna be a whole lot different today I thought we would have got clobbered but instead we're gonna get our first win of the season but anyways 400 points to spend on upgrades should take Jamar Chase a long way so we're gonna go ahead and max out speed I'm also gonna go ahead and max out acceleration and then I guess we'll also max out awareness I feel like that's pretty important and for the final upgrade I guess we'll go ahead and max out catching so hopefully he won't be dropping a whole lot of passes and as you can see after all of those upgrades jamar chase has gone all the way up to a 27 overall so clearly he is still ass but those upgrades should make a huge difference but as you can see we gotta take on the la rams in week three i mean aaron donald is gonna be a massive problem today but other than that this game should be a lot easier than the first two i'm gonna try and get mixing going on the run to start things off i mean it looks like aaron donald is probably gonna be on our ass so this might get shut down never mind we're gone that's almost a first i'm gonna go for another run because i mean it's third and three and the way he's been playing he should be able to pick three yards up 
pretty easily here. So yeah, it looks like we got that and some. So that's another one. I guess we'll see if Jamar Chase is any better now though. I mean, he should actually be a whole lot better now. He's got really good speed. So I mean, he should be like Tyreek Hill. He's gonna be wide open too. And it looks like we have some open field. So that is a perfect play. Okay, the worst of this might actually be over now. I'm gonna run bench, which might not be the smartest play at this position of the field, but I'm gonna try and go for Chase here. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that. Never mind. We're just going for the tight end. I mean, Sample did bring it all the way to the three yard line. So we're set up to use our favorite play with Jamar Chase once again. I mean, it wasn't working at the start, but now that he has maxed out catching traffic, it looks like it's gonna keep working. So I'm just gonna keep hitting it. That's another touchdown for Chase, and that's gonna give us the lead first. And I mean, as you can see, we did manage to get the ball back after that. So our defense is actually doing a number on the Rams right now. I'm expecting a blowout, to be completely honest with you. That is another huge pickup from Jamar Chase. So as I said, I mean, it seems like the worst of this is finally over. He's actually pretty decent now, even though his overall doesn't show it. He's going to be locked up this time, though. So I'm just going to go for the tight end who is wide open once again. I feel like I keep running this play every time I'm at the three yard line. But if it works, as I said, I'm just going to keep running it. And it, oh, that would have been ridiculous. Since it didn't work that time, I'm going to switch things up here. I mean, maybe that's a sign that I should stop running that play. He does have Tyree kill speed, though, so he's good at getting wide open and he's gonna do it again there so that is his second touchdown of the first half and that is gonna give us a 14 nothing lead so we're looking pretty good right now anyways the rams did finally score but we held them to a field goal so we're up 14 to 3 right now if we can score here we can make it a three score lead and once again jamar chase is wide open we're gonna get caught though so i mean nine yards to go and we're in i'm gonna try this uh this might not work actually that's gonna be really close what a grab from jamar chase that is by far his best play of the day so that's gonna be his third touchdown of the first half and that's gonna make this a three score lead for us so i mean we are actually rolling right now but anyways we're coming back out here in the third quarter as you can see the rams are getting absolutely steamrolled right now so it's looking like this is a guaranteed win at this point i cannot see it oh my god chase is going off right now that's another huge play I mean, as I said, now that he has 99 speed and 99 acceleration, he's pretty much playing like Tyreek Hill right now. I mean, if he gets open space, he's guaranteed to get the ball. So that's going to be his fourth touchdown of the game. So that is back-to-back -back games this guy's been going off. I mean, the way he's playing today, there is a very high chance he gets offensive player of the week. I mean, as you can see, the Rams did not stand a chance today. 37-6 to to final. So they're going to get blown out. Jamar Chase also got four touchdowns. So next game, he should be pretty crazy. And I mean, I guess more importantly, we did win that game as well. So we actually have a winning record for the first time this season. But anyways, I guess we'll go ahead and max out medium route running. I'm also going to max out short route running. So his route should be pretty clean now. And then with the last two upgrades, I guess we'll max out agility. And I'm also going to go ahead and max out strength. And it looks like those upgrades made a huge difference. Because after that, Chase has gone all the way up to a 92 overall. So I mean, I'd say one or two more touchdowns and he's going to hit a 99 but anyways you know we got to end things off with a bit of a challenge so after that we sim to week 11 we got to play the baltimore ravens once again they're six and four and we're six and three so it looks like we've been pretty solid since the last game this is going to be another tough matchup though i mean we beat the ravens last time but doing that twice is going to be pretty difficult i mean things have not been going our way so far we're in the second quarter now the ravens are only up by seven but we did force another fumble so that seems like it's been a big problem for baltimore we have great field position once again the alarming thing is this is our fourth drive of the game though and we have not yet been in the red zone so hopefully we can change that here i'm gonna try and go for chase i mean that's a crazy grab let's go that is a play we desperately needed so now we're in the red zone for the first time today i'm gonna try and go back to him here i mean we only need six yards and it looks like he's gonna be wide open and he's gonna get in the end zone so that's gonna be another td for jamar chase and i mean more importantly that's gonna tie the game up we got the ball back after that too though i'm gonna try and go for chase here and hopefully this can work out i mean that's looking good that's gonna be a first down we forced a fumble if you're wondering why we have such good field position right now so it seems like that so far has been a huge problem for the ravens chase is wide open again too they are doing a terrible job at covering him right now so now we only need 12 yards and we're back in the end zone here this is a bit of a stretch it looks like hamilton is probably gonna be on our ass on this play 
I'm getting rid of that anyways. No way. I mean, that is not what I was looking for. I was hoping that would have given us the lead here, but we do have another chance in the third quarter. Once again, we have pretty good field position here. I wanted to go to Chase, but he was kind of locked up. Thankfully, the tight end was wide open. I'm going to try and go for another shot in the end zone here because as I said, I mean, with the speed he has, once he's open, you cannot catch up to him. He's like Tyreek Hill. This time, that's going to be tight, but we're going to win the foot race. So once again, the speed is really paying off today that's gonna be his second touchdown of the game and that's gonna give us the lead back but anyways as you can see we're only up by three points in the fourth quarter so if we can score here this might put the game away if we can kill enough time off the clock i mean this is the biggest drive of the game so far i mean if this works out we actually have a chance to be unbeaten against the ravens which is pretty big for this team right now and since the division's so close this would probably give us the number one spot as long as cleveland loses once again man i mean it seems like there is no slowing down jamar chase once you give him some upgrades this guy is pretty much unstoppable oh i thought that was getting shut down but we have some open field with Mixon. 20 yards to go and we're back in the end zone i'm just gonna try and run bench here i mean this is probably gonna get shut down i'm just going for the tight end because there's no way we're gonna hit chase so 14 yards to go and we're in i'm gonna go for another run with Mixon here and if this works the way i want it to we should be set up perfectly that's getting blown up i was hoping to get a first down there but either way i mean seven yards we should be able to get that especially the way jamar chase has been playing so i'm gonna try and get the ball in his hands here and it looks like we got it and that's also gonna be another touchdown so that's gonna be three touchdowns on the game for jamar chase at this point it might put the game away but i would not count lamar out yet i mean as you can see the ravens did score again after that but our defense shut them down so they did not get the ball back again so we're gonna win by three points which means we are two and oh against baltimore this year which is pretty big for us we do have 300 points to spend on upgrades again though so we're gonna go ahead and max out deep route running and we'll also go ahead and max out spectacular catch for the final upgrade i guess we'll max out jumping and as you guys can see after all of those upgrades jamar chase has finally gone all the way up to a 99 overall after that though i mean i'd say our job here is done we're also seven and three so we're in pretty good position to at least make it to the playoffs but there's there's only one way to find out if that's gonna happen and as you can see it looks like we had a pretty solid run to end off the season going 12 and 5 to win the division we got to play the ravens again in the wild card round but unfortunately this time it looks like lamar is gonna get his revenge when it matters most so that was a very short-lived playoff run so i mean that's definitely a very disappointing way to end off this video but we got jamar chase all the way up to a 99 overall so that's all that really matters but as you can see to end things off it looks like patty mahomes is gonna be winning MVP. And after barely sneaking into the playoffs at 9 and 8, the Ravens made it all the way to the Super Bowl just to lose to the Cowboys. So, apparently Dak Prescott is getting a ring. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.